Good evening, welcome, thanks for being here. We're gonna start in reclined position, so go ahead and get yourself on your back. And I'm gonna have you start with your knees bent, plant your feet on the floor, and let your arms just relax down by your sides, or if you prefer, you can have your left hand over your heart, your right palm around your navel, kind of framing the breath. So once you get settled, gently close your eyes. And just give your back a few moments to melt into the ground. Just starting to let go of some of the effort from the day. Feeling your spine decompress into the floor. All of the muscles that worked to keep you upright throughout the day, giving them a chance to relax. Notice how you're feeling right now. In the physical sense, as well as mentally and emotionally. Acknowledging your whole state of being tonight. Start to notice the movement of your breath in your body and where your body expands as you inhale, where your body contracts as you exhale. Following your breath. Start to slow down and deepen your breath so it becomes more conscious presence your body than the breath that you normally take throughout the day. to release the hips and the hamstrings. You can keep the eyes closed if you like, or if you want to open them at this point, go ahead. We're gonna slide the left leg down on the mat and bring the right knee to the chest. Just keeping with that slow, deep breath. You can turn the ankle a few times, or spread and curl the toes. And then find your strap and lift up to place it around the ball of the right foot for our hamstring sequence. Extend the leg once you have it in place. Hold with a tight grip and straight arms. Taking several breaths here in the first of our three positions. Grounding down through the back of the pelvis. Pressing out through both of your heels. Feeling that energy fire up down the front side of both legs. And then take the strap in the right hand only with a tight grip. Slowly open the right leg out to the side. 
stabilizing the rest of your body by contracting now through your core. Keep the left shoulder, ribcage, and hip connected to the mat. One more breath in, and exhale, return, bring the leg up and change hands, and cross the leg now over to the left side. The right arm can relax on the ground. Keep pressing the foot against your strap to keep that strong tension in it. And then on an inhalation, lift your leg back to the center. Take both hands on your strap again. We're going to do a little lift. Tuck your chin toward the chest. Exhale and roll your spine up off the ground, trying to bring the nose and knee closer together. And even though you're contracting your abdominal wall, make sure you're still breathing here. On an exhalation, roll down, bend the knee toward you, and remove the strap. So I release the right leg to the ground. Just notice how that side feels. Adjust your hips if you need to. And then bring the left knee to your chest. Hold it here for a few breaths before we set up the strap. Just bring some release into this hip joint. Really connect your right leg to the ground. Press the heel against the floor. And then when you're ready for the pose, lift up and place the strap around the left foot. Once you have it, lie down again. Straighten the leg. Pull with straight arms as you pull against that strap. Phase of the pose, hold with the left hand only in a tight grip. Open that leg out to the side and fire up all the way around your core, abdominals, sides of the waist, low back. And keep the right side of your body connected to the floor. The next time you exhale, bring the leg back to the center and change hands. Cross your leg over to the right side of the mat any amount here. Noticing where you feel the sensation, how it shifts from that second pose, now more to the outer hip and thigh. And then lift the leg back up. Take both hands on your strap once again. Tuck your chin and draw your navel down as you roll your back off the mat, nose toward the knee. Couple breaths here. And on exhalation, roll down, bend the knee, and release the strap. So shake out the legs on the ground a little bit, and back go. And then you can bend your knees again, planting your feet. And here's where you're going to take your block, if you have it, and place it in between your knees. Think about the narrow or the medium setting, whichever one feels better for your hips, but probably not the wide one, it's going to be a little too wide. So you're going to just gently squeeze the block with the inner thighs. It doesn't have to be like crushing the block, but just enough so it doesn't drop. Bring your knees all the way in toward your upper body, and notice how that flattens your low back against the ground. We're going to open the arms out to the sides, and then move the thighs away from the upper body until you have an arch in your lower back. Lift your feet up a little bit, and hold in that place that challenges your abdominals. So if you're not feeling it, continue to move your thighs away from your upper body. 
This should not challenge you in your neck, however. So if you go so far that you're kind of craning in your back and shoulder, your upper back, shoulders, and neck, then rein it in a little bit so that you can really stabilize just with the core, coming from your lower ribs down to your hips. With a few more breaths. On an exhalation, bring it in, hug the arms around the legs, let your back flatten into the mat. And rock a little side to side, massage the low back. Then we're going to take that again. Now, when you're really focused on your breathing, it seems almost like counterintuitive to contract the abdominals and to breathe, but we're never holding the breath, we're rarely holding the breath in yoga practice. And so you kind of have to think about breathing higher, actually. It's the one time where it's going to benefit you to shift your breath to a higher place in your lungs since you can't relax your abdominals. Okay, so let's try it one more time. Arms out to the side, start to move the knees away from your upper body until you feel that lumbar arch. Lift your feet up a little bit and just gently squeeze that block and move the thighs far enough away to challenge your abdominals. Good. Bring the knees in, let it go, hug the arms around the legs, and rock a little bit side to side. The last one we're going to do here is a slow moving twist. So just like the hold, you're going to move the thighs away from your upper body until you challenge the abdominals and feel that little arch in the low back. And then we're going to slowly rock the knees to one side, but don't let them completely touch the floor. You're going to hover. And then exhale, contract your abdominals to draw the knees back to the center, and then float them to the other side. And I really find that it helps to use the exhalation to draw the legs back in. As you're going side to side, try and keep the thighs that same distance away from you. Try not to let them come any closer to your body when you're coming out of the twist. Do two more to each side if you can. After you've done those two more, bring the knees in. This time, get rid of the block. Hug the arms around the legs and just rock a little bit side to side. And then rock the knees around in a big circle a few times to massage the sacrum. Good. And then we're going to rock on the spine to come up. So swing your knees toward your face and then build a little momentum as you rock up and down the whole length of your spine. Take three or four of these, and on your last one, rock yourself all the way up. Good. Once you're sitting, just take a cross-legged seat. We're going to just do some seated cat and cow. Bring the hands back toward your hips and arch your spine, inhaling. And then exhale, round your spine and tuck the chin to the chest. Again, inhale, arch the spine, squeeze the shoulders back. Exhale. Inhale, down the spine. Once more in each direction. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Find a neutral spine. Uncross the legs and plant the feet in front of you, about as wide apart as your mat. And lean back on your hands. Put them behind your back. Okay, let's drop the knees from side to side a few times. Windshield wipers for the legs. The next time you drop your knees to the right, they can stay down there. Come off of your left hand and twist to the back of your mat. 
rotating from your lower abdominals all the way up to the chest. You're going to keep your right hand on the floor, sweep your left arm up, and then look up toward the ceiling and turn your chest up. Gentle back bend. Press strongly down against your right hand so that shoulder still supports you here. Just arching back, stretching the abdominal wall. Good, on an exhalation, return to the twist. So turn your chest down, put the left hand on the mat again, and then unwind slowly. Good, pick the knees up and drop them to the left side of your mat, come off your right hand and twist. Nice deep breath here, feeling the spine and ribcage rotate. And then keep your left hand on the ground to support you. Sweep your right arm forward and up. And then turn your chest up toward the ceiling. Gently arching back. Big stretch from your sternum down your abdomen. One more breath in. Exhale back to the twist. Place the hand down. And then unwind. Good. Cross your ankles in front of you. Lean forward and step the knees back into table pose. And from this table, we're going to come into a balance. Straighten your right leg behind you and your left arm in front of you, reaching as far apart as you can. Slow, steady breath. And exhale, release. Other side, the left leg behind you, right arm in front of you. One long line. And exhale to release. Keep your shoulders over the palms, but walk your knees back a little bit. And we're going to take some yoga push-ups here. On an exhalation, bend your elbows back and slowly lower to the ground. Squeeze your shoulders together. Inhale, return to the knees. Point your toes and exhale to child's pose. We're going to take that a few times. Inhale up, shoulders over the palms. Strong core, exhale to the floor. Squeeze the shoulders, inhale, press up. Exhale, child's pose. So continue through that sequence with your breath. Focus on keeping the low back supported, especially when you press up. And if you need to take extra breaths or extra time in child's pose, Feel free to do that. Starting to warm up more through the shoulders. Take two more if you can. And once you get back to child's pose, let's settle there. Let the arms wrap around the legs if you like that version. If not, you can keep the arms forward, but let them relax in front of you. And just take a few moments to let your upper back release. Notice your heartbeat and your breathing rate. And once the breath feels a little bit slower, let's lift up out of child's pose and come into our first downward facing dog. Plant the palms and lift the hips up and back, adjusting the feet a few inches apart. And once you find the alignment of the pose, then let your head 
leg or your neck length and rather your head drop down and find one focal point to concentrate on. Really press against your mat. Feel the pressure of your knuckles against the floor. Good. From here, we're going to raise the right leg up into the air. Three leg dog. Try to keep your hips square. Stay even through both shoulders and hands. Look forward. The next time you exhale, lunge that foot all the way up in between the hands. Come up on the fingertips or on blocks if you like. And try and glide your shoulder blades back so they're not creating tension around your neck. Work on lifting the back knee nice and high here. On an inhalation, we're going to rise up to balance, finding a high crescent lunge, lifting the arms up over the shoulders. One more breath in and exhale, release. Let's let the back knee come down to the mat now. Point the back toes and just Sink down into your hips. We'll take a twist, left hand on the ground, rotate and raise the right arm up. Turn from your navel, up the ribcage, all the way to the chest. Good, exhale, release that hand to the mat. Send your hips back and try and straighten your front leg for half split. You can walk your hands back as well. Here too, try and feel your shoulder blades glide back away from your neck. Good, exhale, return to your low lunge. Lift your back knee off the ground and step back to downward facing dog. And then when you're ready, raise your left leg up. Three limb dog, keeping the hips square. And look forward, exhale, lunge that foot up in between the hands. High lunge, gliding shoulder blades back. Nice and active through that straight leg. When you're ready, rise up to find your balance. Slow, steady breath. One more inhalation. Exhale, hands to the crown and lower the back knee to the floor. Point those toes and release down into your hips. Spinal twist, right hand down, rotate and raise the left arm up. Last breath in, exhale, hand to the floor. Rock the hips back, walk your hands with you, half split. Trying to straighten your left leg, feel the shoulders again glide back. One more breath in, exhale, return to your low lunge, lift that knee off of the ground, and then step back to down dog again. Let your head and neck release down. Five breaths here. On your next breath in, look forward. Exhale, step your feet to your hands. Inhale to the flat back position. Exhale and fold over your legs, letting your head and neck drop down. Feel the weight of this pose move into the balls of the feet.
And then on an inhalation breath, we're going to rise up, open the arms, come to stand and reach over your head. And then exhale, arms to your sides. So we'll take a few rounds of slow sun salutations. So make sure you're toward the front of your mat. On an inhalation breath, begin by reaching up. Exhale and fold forward, dropping the head. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bend the knees and walk to plank pose. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lower to the ground. Inhale to cobra, low or high. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, push up to the knees. Exhale, back and lift to downward facing dog. Settle into the pose and into your breath. On an inhalation, look forward. Exhale, step to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, rise up, reaching overhead. Exhale, release. Second round. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, walk to plank. One breath in. Exhale to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, push up. Exhale, back and lift. Down dog. Good. Feel that contact with your hands against the mat. Press against it. One more breath in. Look forward. Exhale, step to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release the arms. Once more through. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, walk to plank. Deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale to the ground. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, push up. Exhale, down dog. Five deep breaths. One more inhalation, look forward, exhale, feet to your hands, inhale, flat back, exhale, fold forward, inhale, rise up, exhale, and release the arms. Okay, let's take a wide stance, we're going to come to a wide-legged forward bend, separate your feet as wide as a warrior pose, bring your hands to your waist. And turn your heels slightly out. Good. Get strong in the legs and squeeze your shoulders together and open the chest. Good. On an exhalation breath, send your hips back and your upper body forward, folding down, letting the head drop. Let's keep the hands at the waist for the first few breaths and continue to squeeze the shoulder blades together, strengthening the upper back. Let your neck be loose, really heavy through the head so that it gives you traction in the cervical spine. And then release the hands, let them come to the floor or onto blocks in between your feet. On an inhalation, let's come to the flat back position. Lift your chest and walk your hands or blocks forward, just giving your body a moment to adjust to the change in blood pressure. And then we'll take a twist, right hand down, rotate from the waist, 
Raise your left arm up. One more breath in and exhale, release. Other side, rotate from the waist, raise the right arm up. One more breath in and exhale, release. Keep that flat back position and return the hands to the waist. And then press your hips forward to stand upright. Good. Toe, heel your feet back together. And we'll stand with the feet about hip width apart and take a little balancing sequence here. So we're going to start with balancing pigeon pose. Bend the knee slightly. We're going to stand on the right leg. Cross your left ankle to the right thigh and help bring it in place here. And then send your hip joints way back in space. Zooming your upper body forward, keeping a nice, strong low back. Good. Join the palms together in front of your heart center. And find one focal point to concentrate on here. And if you want more intensity in the hip, you can bend more into the leg that you're standing on. Good. On an inhalation, rise up, uncross the leg, and just rock the hips a little bit, bend the knees a little, let that one go. Good. We'll take the other side. We start with both knees bent, and we're going to cross the right ankle to the left thigh. Help bring it in place carefully. Drop that knee away from your upper body and send the hip joints way back in space as you lean your upper body forward. Good. Palms gently press against each other. Let the thumbs rest right on your sternum. You can feel your heartbeat. If you can, try and bend your standing leg more deeply. And just notice how that increases the hip stretch. So really listen to where your body's edge is. Good. On an inhalation, come on up, uncross the leg, and just rock a little bit, sway, let go of that intensity. Good. We're going to come into tree pose, standing back on the right foot again. Get strong through that leg, and bring your left knee up toward your chest. Then open the hip, so turn the knee out to the side. And then put that foot either above the knee by helping, or place the foot just below the knee at the calf or the ankle. Good. And then if you like, you can raise the arms up or you can take prayer position again. But focus on keeping this knee turned out. So really use the strength of your glute and your outer hip to open the front of the hip. Good. Keep the breath steady. When you're ready to release, lower the arms, release the foot from the leg. Nice work. All right, other side, standing on your left leg. Bring your right knee up toward your chest, nice and tall. And then open the knee out to the side. And then put the foot either above your knee by helping it with your hand, or place it below the knee at the calf muscle or ankle. Good. Steady your balance. Keep a single focal point here. And keep working that outer hip and glute to widen the knee out to the side. between 
number three and balancing frame pose. So if you want to be near a wall to just help with your balance, go ahead and do that. Let's take a little uh, step forward with the right foot. Let your arms stay by your sides. Look down at the ground and lean forward. And then push against your right foot, straighten the leg, and lift your left leg up into the air behind you. Good. Sweep your arms back as you lean your upper body forward and raise the back leg. Good. From here, we're going to come to balancing crane pose. Start to lift your upper body and pull your left knee up toward your chest and raise your arms up over your shoulders. Good. Really strong standing leg. And then we're going to try in a smooth exhalation to return to warrior three. Good. On an inhalation, return to balancing frame. Lift the knee, reach up. Take a few breaths. And we're going to do that once more. Smooth exhalation, sweep the arms and the leg back. Warrior three. And then on an inhalation, back to balancing frame. Lift the knee up to your chest. Reach tall through the arms, and then step the foot down, release the arms by your sides. So just stand here in mountain pose for a few breaths. Notice the energy in the right side of the body versus the left. Slow down the breath. Take a little step back with the right foot now. And look down, lean your upper body over your left foot, and then push off the left foot to straighten the leg, raising the back leg up into the air. Sweep the arms back toward the end of your mat and lean the upper body forward as you raise the back leg. Warrior three.
If you like, you can gently sway your upper body like a pendulum side to side. And let that motion stop. Let go of the elbows. Bend the knees and plant your hands on the mat and just walk it back to down dog from here. Take five deep breaths. And then after those five breaths, bring your knees to the ground and take child's pose. Sit back on the heels and let your upper body and arms relax. Close the eyes. And just notice how your body feels at this point. Let go of any holding or resistance to this pose, especially in the hips thighs and calves. Take about five more breaths. Ground. 
So we're going to drop the chin toward the chest. And then gently pull against your strap again, guiding your upper body down. And try and square your chest and shoulders toward the floor. So in this pose, it can be typical to feel like you're open or kind of tilted in your shoulders. So if so, try and feel your right ribcage turn down toward the floor so that you're level on both sides. And just like the last pose, Regrip your strap. If your hands meet your feet, then you can use that. If you have a lot of strap left, just keep holding on to it. Once you are on your back, I'm going to have you slide your left leg down to relax on the mat. Bring your right knee into your upper body. And it doesn't have to be too close. We're going to come into a twist. It'll be better if you have some space between your ribcage and your thigh. Let your right arm come out to the side and help cross your right leg over the pelvis toward the floor, letting it gradually drop. Give yourself an adjustment by sliding the bottom hip over to the right side of the mat a little bit. And then let yourself really melt into this shape. And close your eyes. And take a nice long twist here. One more breath in, and then exhale, slowly unwind. Bend both knees and adjust your hips so they feel centered below your shoulders, and just pause there for a moment. Let your ribcage relax, and when you're ready for the other side, slide your right leg down on the mat and let it rest. Bring the left knee in, but not super close, and then start to cross it over for your twist. Gradually dropping. And then if you like, scoot your bottom hip to the left side of your mat a couple of inches. 
then really give into the shape. No effort in the legs or in the back. Just nice deep breath, allowing gravity to do the work here. When you're ready to release, slowly unwind. Bend both knees and plant your feet so you can adjust your hips to the center. Pause there for a few breaths with your feet flat on the ground underneath the knees. And just feel your spine and ribcage settle into their normal position here. And once your back feels relaxed, bring the knees into the upper body, hug your arms around the legs, and rock a little bit side to side. And we'll end with happy baby pose. Separate the knees a bit wider than the upper body. Lift the feet and hold on to the outer feet or outer ankles. And if you like, you can rock here too. Pull the feet toward your face and lift your Hips up higher to give yourself traction in the low back. And then when you're ready to release, lower the feet and get yourself comfortable on the back for Shavasana. <coughs> Take your time getting comfortable. You can use props to support your body if you'd like, or put on extra layers of clothing if you tend to cool down. Make sure that you are warm and comfy here. And once you feel settled, gently close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Feel your lower jaw release and relax the tongue and the throat. And invite your natural breath to return to the body, letting go of that deep conscious breath. Take a moment just to mentally scan from head to toe. And if you sense any lingering active energy in the muscles or the joints, just focus on that area for a few breaths and try to invite it to let go, to get heavier and to release down into the ground.
slowly bring your attention back into your body. Take a few deeper breaths and move a little bit through the fingers and the toes. And add any other movement or stretch that would feel good to you right now. And eventually roll over to one side of your body, curling up there into your fetal pose and just pausing briefly to notice how you're feeling right now. And with as little effort as possible, make your way upright to a comfortable seated posture with your eyes still closed. Continue to breathe deeply to help bring some alert energy back to the body. Feel your spine get tall again. And you can join the palms together in front of your heart. And we'll end our practice chanting OM one time. Take a deep breath in.